All right, guys, we're back. I'm a little tired. Just got home from work, chilling, so apologize for the disheveled look. But the street glide is done again. Uh, I was going to make a video on this. And I got rolling, drinking beer, listening to music, and kind of forgot to grab the camera. But in all fairness, I was already six hours or so into this project, and I was just ready to be done with it. So... There she is, all cleaned up. It's still a black street glide. I did manage to get the oil filter there re-oiled. So it's looking red again instead of, you know, gray. And coming around the side, another motorcycle in the way. First world problems, right? So just everything's looking good. Still got a couple of little scuffs in there that I didn't care enough to try to get out. But all in all, I mean, it turned out great. It was super easy to do the ceramic coat itself, um, but it was all of the prep work that led up to it that I can see why the shops charge what they charge. Because I did a full bag off seat, side covers. I took the dash off. I mean, I, I had parts everywhere. Uh, started with a wash, and I'll go through what I used. I uh, did a wash, used a Essentially, my shop vac turns into a leaf blower, so I used that to blow dry it all, toweled it off with a microfiber, came back, and this, this was all spanned over about a week because, uh, you know, work gets in the way and, you know, got to make the money to pay the bills. So, after that, borrowed a, a buffing, a, a random orbital, orbital buffer, however you say it, uh, along with some compound from a buddy of mine, uh, went through stem to stern on the bike. Uh, you know, all of the pieces were done individually, buffed that down, wiped everything up real good with a microfiber, and then went through with an IPA spray or isopropyl alcohol. Uh, you know, wiped everything down before I did the ceramic, then ceramic it, reassembled, and walked away. All said and done, I was in this project eight hours-ish, give or take, but, uh, Honestly, because the, the bike is black, it deserved that kind of love and attention. So I'm glad that I put the time in there, but I don't want to do this again anytime soon. So we'll go through what I used. I've been talking about this on some other videos, but I was keeping it close to the chest. I went with a company called Avalon King. Uh, they were reviewed real well. Uh, price was right. Uh, so what I got here was their IPA prep spray. See if I can't bring this into the light a little bit here for you. Hopefully you can see that. That's the isopropyl alcohol. I use that to wipe everything down um, in between. I let the bike sit for a few days, so I wiped it down once just to get dust off before I buffed. Uh, after I was done buffing, I wiped that down again. But before I did all of that, I had to start with a, a particular uh, soap, so that way it could strip all the waxes off of the bike because... You don't want a ceramic over wax, otherwise it's not going to stick as well. So they also make what they call a prep shampoo. Hopefully that's coming across there. So that did a great job. I mean, I could just, after it was washed and dried, I could feel just the clear coat. There was no wax, nothing. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention a little bit ago was after it was washed, before I did the IPA, I did... I clay barred the whole thing. Never clay barred in my life. Went out to my local O'Reilly's and picked up, whoa, a little bit too close there. Picked up these mother, oh, let's get that in my hand out of the way. This mother's brand. Uh, three clay bars, a microfiber, the spray. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be as well. Uh, it's got, you know, talk about spray it down, you know, rub the clay over there until it feels smooth. And it's like, well, thinking it's going to be smooth. It's paint. No, no, you can definitely find the, the rough spots because you're, you're kind of claying along and then you hit a rough spot and your, your clay just stops. Fortunately, the clay is kind of sticky, so it's not like you drop it. But uh, Mother's does say that if you drop it, you got to toss it because all of the debris on your floors, I don't care how clean you keep your garage or your shop, the debris on the floor is going to stick in the clay and now you're going to be leaving micro scratches or worse in your paint. So 
Gotta be real anal retentive about that. So when I the clay that I had left over, just threw it in a Ziploc bag, put it back in the box. So, because it should be reusable. I should get a lot of life out of this. I was really digging that product. And then the last thing, let me see if I can't get this in the shot here with the reflection and everything. This is the actual kit itself. Their Armor Shield 9. And according to their website, they've got the highest hardness rating ingredients um, of the ceramics out there. Now, whether that's just smart advertising or it's legit, I don't know. But I was having a hard time finding any negative reviews on this thing. So, gave it a whirl. Price was right. Uh, I want to say for the IPA, the prep shampoo, the ceramic, everything. I got actually got two bottles of the ceramic. I think I was out the door because they had a special going on. Like 100, 120 bucks, something like that. And trust me, I've got the two bikes. Uh, even the the old fat boy here, it, it got a ceramic coat. I was able to do uh, the big old nacelle, the headlight, the fender tank, rear fender, back of the mirrors, glass, uh, speedometer, you know, use it on pretty much anything and everything except, you know, I wouldn't use it on your seat or your, your levers, you know, wouldn't use it on any of the hot engine components. That just seems like a bad idea. Uh, and I did the same thing with the, the Shree Glide. I even ceramic the windshield, you know, because bugs stick. This helps avoid that. So, like I said, I got two kits, which I thought, okay, well, I'll get both bikes done with one bottle, you know, and I've got an extra one for the wife's car or just for whatever. But Because this is supposed to last for up to two years. We'll see how long I actually get out of it, but I feel pretty confident I should get at least a year to a year and a half. You know, if I hit two, awesome. But, uh, but inside that box, let's see here, they give us... Uh, little uh, like three of these real soft applicator towels. Use those to wrap around this sponge. The sponge even has a little slit in there. Reason being is you take this hard credit card looking thing that they include to force the edge of this into the slit. So and then you just wrap the, the little towel around the little foamy side here and take your fancy bottle of the armor shield and it's, I mean, it's not real big I mean, it's tiny but you know I said I did both of these bikes and I've used probably just an RCH over half of the bottle so I mean it it lasts I mean it it really lasted a lot longer than I thought and I probably went heavy-handed with it but you know you wrap that little rag or towel around the foam and you generously apply this stuff to the foam pad and the applicator and just wipe it up and down, back and forth. Then you go sideways just to make sure you've got adequate full coverage. You know, and with all the curves and shapes to everything, it, it's just a good idea. You don't want to have that one dry spot because now it's not protected. So all said and done, I mean, the... The soft tail took me, I don't know, 30 minutes, maybe, to do just the ceramic. The street glide, because there's so much more to it, that one took me probably 45 minutes to an hour. So once you've taken your applicator, spread it over the bike, uh, you wait a couple of minutes for what Avalon calls flashing. <laughs> uh, but basically, it just it, it dries and it takes on this rainbow color texture kind of like an oil slick once it does that then you take the fancy super soft microfiber towel that they give you and just rub it down real quick and easy you don't need a lot of pressure you know you just you're taking off the excess leveling everything out and it just looks like glass afterwards you know i don't know if you guys saw earlier but when i put on my new saddleman seats i had some scuffs and whatnot from the old seat, both on my side covers and on my tank. Well, it's probably not gonna come through. I still see it just a little bit here, a little bit over there, and still on the side covers. That's partially on me, because 
I don't do professional detailing. I don't do buffing or anything like that. So I probably could have used a cutting compound or a cutting wheel or something and then buffed it and brought it back. I was just worried about doing more damage than good. So I stuck with my comfort zone and just buffed it out. It's not perfect, but this isn't a show bike. This is an everyday rider. So I'm just glad that it looks better than it did. But I mean, if you guys are thinking about going with uh, a ceramic coat, I highly recommend the Avalon King setup. I, there's no relation. I bought their product. They don't know me from Adam. Uh, it's just, I read great reviews. I listened to a couple of other guys on out there in YouTube world and they sang their phrases. Their website was great. Hell, even there, even the directions are a freaking riot. I mean, it tells you on the shampoo, for instance, directions. You really can't mess this up. One to three ounces of formula in a five-gallon pail. Wash car, rinse car, dry car. They're thorough. For foam cannon, add two to three ounces more. For thicker foam, add more. Don't put it in your eyes. Rinse if you do. Even if you own a Prius, <laughs> don't drink it. So they have fun with their product. They've got a sense of humor. They know they've got a good product and they just seem to be a lot of fun. So, and the prep shampoo, it's got a similar message, you know, it's either about driving Prius, driving a Prius or driving a PT Cruiser or something, but it was hilarious. I was rolling when I read those. So, uh, it, as I said, if you're thinking about it, if you're on the fence, pull the trigger. I say either go with the chemical guys. A buddy of mine did hit, did one with theirs. They, he loved it. I, I can't sing enough praises about the Avalon King product. They do have something called a maintenance spray. Uh, it's kind of like a waterless wash. It's supposed to prolong the life of the ceramic coat. I think I'm going to pull the trigger on that and uh, just so that way I don't have to do this more often than I need to. Uh, but it's all real reasonably priced. Uh, I want to say the ceramic by itself was 40, 40 bucks, I think, for that bottle or 50 bucks or something. And like I said, I got two bottles and then the prep shampoo and the IPA spray. Um, but that's all I've got. Pretty you know quick and dirty video today. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, concern, uh, drop them down below. I'll do the best I can to answer them. Uh, if you just do me a solid, uh, hit that like button. If you liked this, thought anything was helpful or useful, uh, you know, throw a subscribe if you could. Uh, helps me out. Um, if you didn't like it and think I'm an idiot, throw that in the comments too. I'm going to read it. I might not respond, but I'm going to read it. So otherwise, y'all take care out there. We'll catch you next time.